Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is June the 2nd. Can you believe that? It's already June. <laughs> I feel like uh, the first half of show this year has just flown by. <laughs> Anyways, today's a national holiday. <laughs> Can you guess which one I picked? <laughs> Almost every day is multiple holidays. If you look up on that website, some of them have a lot. <laughs> but today is National Donut Day. So I think it's national. Maybe it was international. It's one of the two. Anyways, a lot of donut shops <laughs> are um giving out free donuts today so if you have one in your town maybe go see if they'll give you a free donut <laughs> i don't actually like donuts but um i like the image of donuts so i definitely wanted to participate in this one so i was thinking about doing like an amigurumi but then i was like i don't really want to make an amigurumi donut because if you ever made one of those they're kind of annoying because you have to like crochet them into a donut shape which is like a tube you know but connected <laughs> and it's kind of annoying so i didn't want to do that so i tried to get creative um so one thing, we were gifted, multiple years ago, a crochet <clears throat> flying disc frisbee. I believe from Shell from uh, Sh Shell Shell Crochet. <laughs> so it gets me mixed up. Her name's Michelle, but everybody calls her Shell. Anyways, uh, and I can't find it anywhere. We've played with it a million times, and it's probably back behind a piece of furniture or something, because we play with it in the house. <laughs> And so I was like, well, I can make another flying disc and make it look like a donut. <laughs> so that's what I did. I looked up some flying disc um, patterns on Ravelry and I found one and I'll link it below. It's to their website, but it's from Goddess Crochet. And it, you use two strands of worsted weight yarn held together and a K hook, which is a 6.5 millimeter. And yeah, so what I did is I went to my stash here and I picked out this brown yarn right here. It's a Bernat yarn. And then I picked out a hot pink I think it's right here. <laughs> red, um, red Heart Yarn. I don't know the names of them. I guess I could get them, but I don't want to. <laughs> but, and I made a donut. So here is my donut flying disc. <laughs> so uh, I started in the, the center with the brown. I did just a couple rows of brown, and then I switched to the pink to be the frosting glaze. And then I did the rest of it in brown, and it kind of curves around right there. And then I went back and just, I grabbed some stash, um, scrap balls out of my stash. My bucket thingy <laughs> and I made sprinkles took forever but when I made the sprinkles it had left a lot of uh, floats in the back and so I didn't want that to you know because if, if you're throwing these your fingers could pull on them or get stuck or anything so what I did is I took a piece of fabric it's just like a green piece of fabric with little dots on it <laughs> and I hot glued it on there so I turned it inside out and I just hot glued it on there a whole lot <laughs> And when I did, when I turned it inside out to keep the glue from going through the other side and sticking it together, I have put another piece of scrap fabric in there to protect it, you know. And so I just glued it on there. Not perfect, but it's good enough, you know. Let me turn it back out. So now it's nice and thick and heavy, which is good because that helps with the distance factor. <laughs> and now we got another little cute frisbee to play with. And this is also good for when littler kids like Jesse, you know, he's not the greatest at catching things. So if it does hit him <laughs> in his body or his face or something, it's not going to hurt as bad as like a hard plastic one. I remember once as a kid, I was like nine and my cousin who I spent all kinds of time with, with she was, she's two years younger than me. Uh, I hit her in the lip with a plastic frisbee and it just busted her lip really bad. She was bleeding and, um, this, you know, won't do that. <laughs> so that's nice. So I will link this pattern down below if you want to check it out. And, um, like I said, I just changed the rows because the pattern is just a solid pattern, but you can look on Ravelry projects to see other ones people did. And, uh, some people striped it and stuff. And I just, I thought I'd make it look like a donut <laughs> since it's donut day. And it's just cute. And, um, what's the word? Eclectic. And that's kind of our style here <laughs> in the Roberts household. We're eclectic family. And um, it's just a cute thing. We can take it with us in the stroller to the parks and stuff when we're out. And we can play with it a little bit and then just throw it back in the stroller and whatever. I was already throwing it some, practicing with it just to see how good it flew <laughs> in the house. And it does fly really good. And uh, I think it's actually, you know, it's double thick. The one that we had gifted was made out of cotton yarn. And it was just one strand, I believe. And it was real floppy. But it still worked really well. Um... This one's double stranded so it's thick and also this layer here of fabric and glue <laughs> i think has added to the weight of it and so i think it's going to work really well like i think if we take it outside and really give it a good yeet it'll probably fly really far <laughs> haven't done that yet because that's what i was trying to keep it pretty <laughs> before we started using it i haven't even shown it to the boys i've been hiding it because i thought i think they'd get a kick out of it look like a donut <laughs> so i'm going to share it with them today 
but um, I just think it's cute. I think I did pretty good. The pattern was super quick and easy. I made it while watching TV. And then I did these sprinkles. Uh, I was sitting on the arm of the couch trying to keep my, all my scrap balls from June because she, if she sees them, she tries to grab them. And so I just cut off lengths a couple feet long and was just stitching random sprinkles on there. And then I decided, I was like, man, I really hate that because there's like, you know, yarn all over the place here. And I was like, I think I can maybe put fabric over it. And that's what I did. And I actually like it. It's not beautiful. And obviously, you know, like I wouldn't want to gift it to someone because I didn't glue it down perfectly. Like there's parts here that's kind of, you know. But if I was going to gift it to someone, I would take more time and glue that down better. <laughs> but uh, it's just for us here. So I think it's adorable. What do you guys think? It could also be like a beret. <laughs> a, uh, what is it called? Donut beret. But, um, I just think it's cute. So I'll leave the panel link below if you want to make a donut frisbee or if you just want to make a regular frisbee. <laughs> you don't have to make a donut one. But I just made a donut because of the day. But I think it's adorable and I love it. <laughs> so I will, um, leave it linked below and happy donut day. Go get you a free donut. I believe like Krispy Kreme and Dunkin' Donuts, big chains like that participate in it. Um, maybe some little ones. We have a, what's it called? Like independent donut shop here in our town. I don't know if they participate in it because it's like an independent business, you know. But uh, donuts are pretty cheap anyways. <laughs> but if you like them, go get you a donut today and celebrate National Donut Day. If you don't like eating donuts, make a donut like I did. <laughs> and I, I have a couple donut um, stitch markers. I'm looking on my thingy, my stitch marker thing. So I do like the image of donuts. And when I see a pink one, it always reminds me of The Simpsons. <laughs> I grew up watching that with my siblings um, all the time. And Homer always had donuts, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'm just blabbing now. So I'm going to go hop off here and play with this donut. <laughs> I'm going to try to throw it and see. I might just, like, randomly throw it at Jesse to show it to him. <laughs> and um, I'll leave it links below if you want to make it. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.